seems that a number of articles have been appearing in both the UK and Ireland which are following a pattern in the last 24 hours, which I thought I'd point out because the fake stream media love to prime their audience well ahead of anything they have planned to announce. And maybe this is nothing, but it does seem strange that all of a sudden, yesterday and today, there have been loads of these articles talking about variants and rising cases and restrictions. Here we see in The Independent, one to keep an eye on, COVID infections rise across the UK. Now note that phrase, one to keep an eye on. Then we have here in the sun, the Irish sun, COVID rise, Irish COVID cases hit the highest rate since restrictions eased as new variant one to watch. So we've got one to watch, it says. So within 24 hours of each other, we've got two stories, one from Ireland, one from UK, both about cases rising and both using the same phrase, one to keep an eye on or one to watch. It's when you see these similar synonymous phrases being used in articles from the different media companies to describe the same thing at the same time, it smells a bit fishy. Again, in Ireland, this is from yesterday, the mirror. Could COVID restrictions come back? In Ireland, Professor Luke O'Neill labels new variant one to watch. Again, we've got the phrase, keep an eye on it, one to watch. That's the same phrase in the sun, the mirror and the independent, all on the same day. Media agenda, in my mind. Professor Luke O'Neill is very much Ireland's equivalent to Dr. Hillary, Big Farmer Shields, probably one of these TV doctors in every country. Here we see the BBC yesterday, COVID infections rising again across UK from ONS. Here we have another one from yesterday, this one going on about Delta Omicron hybrid detected in UK as experts warn it shouldn't be ignored. And again, the catchphrase at the end, it says, government must keep an eye on the strain. And in Ireland yesterday, it says,